So someone is actually making the argument that Ray isn't a Mary Sue, but not only that, they're also calling Luke a Gary Stew. Yeah, let's just go ahead and watch the video because there's nothing more for me to say about this video because as it goes on, I'm going to have a lot to say about the topic. Yikes. Happy 2018! <laughs> It may be a brand spanking new year, but thanks to the return of the Ray is a Mary Sue fanboy cry, it's like 2015 all over again. Aww. In case you missed it, which if you did, please tell us where you were hiding so we can go to that fan bro free paradise. You'll notice pretty quickly that this person is very condescending. She acts like the people who are mad about Ray being a perfect character don't have a point. I'm sorry, I tried to give the character a chance, but Ray is just so unlikable. And there are plenty of reasons towards why people aren't fond of her. She doesn't earn what she gets. Her backstory is weak. She's blander than rice cakes. I'm pretty pissed off she's degrading a franchise I really like, so yeah, I'll bitch about her as much as I want. Yeah, because that's how I want someone to tell me that I'm wrong. Um, actually... Because the condescending attitude wasn't bad enough. Literal Mary Sue, female character having powers for the sake of a narrative. Ray is a nobody, but somehow has a connection to Luke's lightsaber, defeats the grandson of Darth Vader with zero training, basically trains herself in The Last Jedi, saves the day twice, hashtag not my Star Wars. Ray is a nobody, but somehow has a connection to Luke's lightsaber. Yes, you understood the plot of the movie. Also, everyone has powers for the sake of the narrative. It's a movie. Okay, even though I'm not a fan of how Anakin got the Force and Phantom Menace, I've even argued that he's a Gary Stu in that movie. At least he was a flawed character later on. Unlike Rey, who just continues to learn things automatically. And yeah, characters have powers for the sake of the narrative. But at least their powers are established from the beginning and they develop throughout the series. Ray gets powers out of nowhere and automatically. Wow, the worst rebuttal that Ray is a Mary Sue was from Daisy Ridley, where she said that the term is sexist, it's not. And Luke was also a Gary Sue, he wasn't. Luke Skywalker had three films to become a master. Ray was doing Jedi mind tricks from the first film, hashtag last Jedi awful. That term is sexist, it's not. Okay. But it is, though. No, it isn't. Guys have the term Gary Stew. Plus, the term isn't sexist at all. People don't like perfect characters. And for good reason. And this term isn't just thrown around for women. Like I just said, there's one for guys, too. Gary Stews are just as bad as Mary Sue's. It's not a gender thing, it's just a writing flaw. Is it sexist to dislike bad writing now? The term is based on a character created by Paula Smith in her 1973 Star Trek parody, A Trekkie's Tale. Lieutenant Mary Sue was a satirized version of the often unrealistic female characters that popped up in Star Trek fanfiction. But today's use of the term isn't taking the piss at a hyper-capable female characters that only end up as romantic interest for the less skilled male leads, when we all know they should have actually been the heroes of the stories. Instead, calling a character a Mary Sue is essentially saying that they're little more than wish fulfillment. Uh, bullshit. Some of my favorite characters are females, and it's not because they're damsels in distress. Big difference between these women and Rey is, well, first off, they actually have a personality, but most importantly, they're flawed. Each and every female character I have on here has struggled in some way. They learn and adapt. They develop and become better. These are characters I can relate to and like, but Rey has no flaws. Nobody can relate to someone who just gets things out of nowhere and solves their problems through luck. There's no other way around it. She doesn't train, she doesn't think. Ray just does things out of nowhere. And it's a charge that's primarily hurled at female characters by male fans as opposed to, say, calling all these guys Marty, Gary, or Larry Stews. Okay, I can't speak on behalf of Matrix and Star Trek because I haven't seen them, so sorry. But did she really just imply that Iron Man, Batman, Harry Potter, and Luke Skywalker are Gary Stews? I'm not saying Gary Stews don't exist, but you made some horrible choices to represent your argument. Each of the characters I've just mentioned have struggled immensely. Iron Man, pretentious, sometimes uncaring, hasn't won every fight. Harry Potter, short-tempered. Pretty much nothing without the supporting cast. Hasn't won every fight. Luke Skywalker. Ignorant. Emotional. Hasn't won every fight. Batman. Pick whatever reincarnation you want and I'll guarantee you there's at least one flaw to the character. 
Minus Adam West. I was one of those people who said Ray is a Mary Sue, and I was demonized for it heavy. After this shitty film, there is no denying it. No way in hell can someone be a perfect Jedi with zero training. Hashtag The Last Jedi Awful. I'm not entirely sure calling this film shitty is a sound argument. Okay, if we're going to base the writing of the film off financial success, then Michael Bay is the new Stanley Kubrick. However, I agree. No way can someone with zero training be a perfect Jedi. What are you trying to imply here? Luke trained. He also had time from Empire Strikes Back to Return of the Jedi to become better. In The Last Jedi, we start off right where we left off. Rey didn't have a gap of time to train. Also, Luke didn't automatically become the best Jedi ever. He kind of got ass raped by his dad. Rey is a Mary Sue in every sense of the word in this film. She has little to no training, yet can handle a lightsaber like a pro. She has amazing force abilities, all because the plot calls for it. The force is now a MacGuffin more so than ever. It can do whatever is required of it. Okay, so let me make sure we're all on the same page here. What these fans are saying is that it's completely unbelievable that this woman could have the force, be strong with the force, and be inexplicably good at various things with little to no training whatsoever. Yes, that's exactly what we're saying. That no way her life on a barren, sandy planet would afford her the opportunity to be as capable a pilot as she is. Or that someone who just found out they had the force would be capable of using it to fight against the reincarnated empire. And definitely not be able to wield a lightsaber in a battle against a far more experienced Sith with any success. What success are you talking about? You mean the part when Luke lost his hand and lost the fight? And the big difference with the flying thing, Luke had background knowledge, Ray didn't. Yeah, there's certainly no precedent for any of that. In a franchise that gives us cannibalistic teddy bears, a giant slug gangster, a magical power that certain beings have due to midichlorians, and this f***ing guy, the bone these guys have to pick is with Ray being good at things? We're not upset because Rey is good at things. We're upset by how she became good at certain things. Plus, she doesn't have any flaws to balance out. Also, saying Rey being perfect is believable because other fantasy tropes exist in the Star Wars universe is a stupid argument. Aliens like Jabba the Hutt were already established in the universe. And what was with that midichlorian and Jar Jar Binks argument? Nobody likes any of those things. I guarantee you, majority of the fans didn't accept midichlorians and Jar Jar Binks when they came out, and probably still don't. Yeah, so I'm pretty confused what your point was. Fantasy requires a level of disbelief from the audience. That's why all of this stuff is totally okay. But when you decide that believing a female character being as capable as her male predecessor, never mind more so, is taking things too far, maybe the problem you have isn't with the movie. It's with women. No, I just have a problem with terribly written characters regardless of their gender. I'm fine with strong female characters, I'm fine with Rey being strong, but being physically stronger than everyone else isn't a very strong character trait. Beatrix Kiddo is strong, but she's also funny, interesting, and has flaws. Now if you'll excuse us, we have some important questions about the next Star Wars film, specifically related to Kylo Ren's fashion choices. I like how she's a strong, independent woman at one point, and then slobbers over some random buff guy. Way to break gender norms. 